All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been kind of saving these. Bought some of these, a couple of these in an old uh, tool haul from an old man. And then pawn shop, pawn shop. Uh, I don't have much in these, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might have $15 in all these. And that's on the extreme. Anyways, no name on this one, it's rusted pretty good. This one, Craftsman V-Series, which this is cool. This one uh, has a W Maker's Mark, I think, on it. But, uh, I'm not even sure. Oh, this is a Williams. And then Proto Proto, and no idea. Somebody used, I don't know what they were doing. Don't, don't know. And then, by the looks of it, this is probably a proto it looks like the same Mike mark anyways got to clean them up uh, looks like a lot of wire wheel action here take a knife and cut this off it's got tape and like I don't know rubber o-ring anyways let's clean them up I think I'm just gonna clean this one up give it a slight polish probably paint this black this is uh this is dyed like a black, but I'm gonna I'm a paint them. I've had real good luck with that uh, Rust-Oleum flat, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Don't use these very often, but you know most uh, pipe fitters, bridge workers, uh, guys that put transmissions in, lining up your holes. That's these are great for uh, if you ever take a pump like a five or a seven or a ten horse pump motor off you know motor weighs 300 pounds but you can use these to line up your holes and your bolts uh, if you get one side lined up you can stick a bolt through it and then you just keep working it until you get them lined up uh, if you run across some of these uh, highly recommended buy one or two of them for one especially if you're ever doing any gate work if you're putting in a gate or or repairing a gate you can stick one of these through the bolt hole into the wood or your metal or your pipe and hold it while you're working anyway especially the cheap most people don't know what these are good for uh, but I buy them when I find them because even if you use it one time, it, it saves a lot of trouble. Anyways, let's get to uh, a little wire wheel action and then we'll see what we come up with. Check that out. Clean the rust off. It's a proto professional and it says 2126, I believe. And this looks very little wear. It's got a couple of little nicks on the end there. But that's a nice little find. Good quality steel. Uh, this will go good with my uh, two snap ons that I got now. Anyways, I just wanted to stop and show you clean the rust off. That's what I got. Could not tell what it was. Cool. Anyways, clean one more and then I'll go to do a little more clean polishing maybe.
All right, guys, got them cleaned up on the wire wheel. It is a Williams, and it's a C, looks like C616. Well, this one's a nice one. Same way with the Craftsman. I'm going to go ahead and polish this up a little bit, this Craftsman V. And it, it does look like a W. I'm going to show it in camera so maybe I can, sometimes I can see it after I post it, what's on it. I can't see the little viewfinder. Proto, Proto, this was the other big Proto that was rusted, but look at the rust. Look at that. Somebody must have stuck it in a bucket. And I'm not going to clean that up. I'm going to leave it, paint this. Once I get it coated, it'll be just fine. Uh, won't use that very often but this was a this one had the big wad a tape and stuff what it was was wire and it's a Klein Klein tools uh, 5 8 inch 16 and it says a 3 2 1 1 H and then it has an F1 there and it says not to extend has a hammer and wear eye protection I know why the wire was taped on this, being that it was a Klein. I'll lay money. This was used to pull wire. They wrapped the wire around this, taped it, and then used this as a handle to pull wire through conduit. Because we've done things like that before. And that's exactly what that was. They put used this to pull wire. And this is in really, really good condition. That is, that is a and the pinkish paint, I guess somebody just put a pink paint on it to, to identify their tools, thinking somebody wouldn't steal their pink tool. Anyways, pretty much, I think the two proto or the three protos and this one were all together. Yeah, I'm sure, because I got these from that old man. This flea market, I think, and this one was pawn shop. Man, I've had these for so long, can't remember. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a coat of polish on this, just light polish, and paint these. I need to get a video, show you guys what I'm doing, because I'm running behind this week. I've had so much to do. Sucks to be poor and have to work for a living. I'm working 15 hour days, and they're starting to run together. Anyways, let's uh, throw a coat of paint on these, and see what they look like. I think I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use this hammered black. I've had really good luck with this. Makes tools look, and it lasts pretty good. I, I'm really, really happy with it. Anyways, let's get after it.
guys, it's the next day. I think today's Tuesday. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, I'm, my days, I'm working these 15 hour days, and my days are starting to run together. Anyways, I painted them that uh, hammered black. That's the proto. Uh, the Craftsman, I just lightly polished it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I didn't really do that. I didn't want to spend the time on this tool because I'm gonna use this tool. I'm, it's not like a ratchet where you keep it and this thing's gonna be abused. Uh, this is the Williams C8. Hang on, I gotta look. No, 616. C616. It's a Williams. I just left the, I, I, it's a black, probably from the factory. That's a cool bar. This one is a Proto 26, 2126. Sorry guys, I am so tired. I need to go in and haven't even eaten dad dinner yet. This is a Proto and it's a 0907. 0907. And this is actually in really good shape. I mean, they just, but look at it, you know, I didn't, I didn't clean this up, I left it. I mean, this is a use, usable tool. I don't want it to look, you know, like a piece of art. This is a Proto 090578s. And this, same way, it's in really good condition. Even the whole thing here is in good shape. Uh, and this... Okay, this is the other Proto, and this is a 0904A, three quarter inch. And it's same way, it's in very good shape. Uh, this is a Klein, and this is, it says five eighths and an inch and sixteenth. Sorry, I got sweat rolling down in my eyes. Uh, the 3211H that you guys see that I, I didn't even measure the the jaw on this I don't know if it's an inch six sixty I know it's not a five eighths that's got to be an inch and sixteenths I don't know what five eighths means I, I this is a Klein tool USA and this in really good condition and and I'm gonna have to look and see how much, I don't know anything about what the cost of these are new. Uh, I got less than two bucks a piece on this stuff. I don't have much of anything. Uh, anyways, I wanted to show you that I finished these. A couple of these, well, actually four of these, I'm gonna take to work and probably one of these pry bars and these two, I think I'm just gonna keep here. <clears throat> like I said before, what's good about these things, if you're putting up a gate or a fence, hinges of any kind, you stick them in the hole, then you can hold the gate up where you want. Uh, you know, back in the day, you stab a 350 turbo transmission in a, in a uh, Chevrolet, you'd use this to line up your holes. Okay. Now we use them uh, at work, we'll use these to line up the bolt holes in the, where the, uh, the pump motor and the electric motor mounts to the pump you line everything up and you just start your 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 holes your bolts with with this anyways guys I hope you kind of find this interesting uh, I hope you do I mean I, I uh, clean these up so you guys can kind of see if you run across these usually you find them cheap I highly recommend buying one uh, even if, you know, the, the wrench part you probably will never use unless you're working oil field or on pump motors or big electric motors of some kind that operate a drive or a pump, you probably won't use. But they come in handy to line, especially small ones. They, they really work to line things up. Uh, yeah, that's the reason I picked it because I've used them. I know what it's like. If you ever hang a 16-foot round pipe gate and try to do it by yourself. The gate itself weighs like 240 pounds. These things come really in handy, uh, especially put them in the line up the holes. 
Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, 102 degrees in the garage. Air conditioning's not on, and I'm out of here. I'm tired. These days are getting long. Uh, I just wanted to publish the video to, for you guys. Uh, I appreciate the comments. I really do. I've got to answer a couple. I'm running behind on answering my comments, so uh, give me a day or two, and I'll, I'll get to y'all. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching, and and Joe T, uh, I can't remember Pat sent me a uh, oh a comment on uh, using dehumidifier uh, strips that go, like go in gun safes, and besides the silica packets and putting the towel over your tools in your uh, toolboxes, he suggested mounting some. Uh, dehumidifier sticks that they use in gun safes in the back of your toolbox like pull your drawers out a couple of drawers and mount them anyways I'm gonna look into that I'm gonna see if that's uh, feasible uh, I don't know how much I know you've got a lot of tools uh, you might that might be something you're looking at anyways guys Y'all have a good evening, and ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your week. I'll try to publish another video. Today's Tuesday. Don't know what number date. It's the 9th, something like that. Anyways, see y'all.